What's going on guys, Patrick here. I get a lot of questions from people on Instagram or just in real life. What's the best way to launch your drone if you're somewhere that's maybe rocky or sandy or you're on a boat or you're just somewhere where you don't have an even surface to launch your drone from? The nice thing about the DJI drones, number one is you do not need to basically control the drone once it's in the air flying. Once it's locked in with GPS mode, it's going to stay locked in there and it's not going to move. Now, that's one thing you need to think about. If you're launching your drone from a boat or a moving object, I don't, you know, I don't really know where you guys are launching from, but if you're launching from a boat, and let's say the boat is moving forward. Now, if I go and launch the drone in front of me, it's gonna try to lock in that GPS right where it is. So if I'm standing here and the boat is moving forward, I'm going to actually run into the drone myself, and it's not gonna be pretty, definitely not gonna be pretty for my face. So make sure if you are gonna be launching your drone from a boat, that the best thing to do is go to the back of the boat. If the boat is moving forward, I'm gonna launch the drone off the back, and that way the drone's gonna just take off and fly away and get away from anybody or anything that it can hit. So all I'm gonna do, you can see I have my controller in my left hand here. I've got my iPhone, I got it all ready to go. The drone is ready to go here now. You can see we're at a sandy, rocky beach. It's not easy to find a level surface to launch from. So all I'm gonna do is just go ahead and prime the motors. So you can see now the motors are ready to fly. And if I drop the drone at this point, obviously it's gonna drop. I'm gonna give the drone a little bit of power so it goes up. But as you can see, all I do is drop my hand and the drone is gonna be right there. And it's gonna fly away, no problem. And like I said, I'm not doing anything. I'm not touching the controllers. I'm not having to control the drone and the drone is staying exactly pretty much where I'm telling it to stay at because of the GPS, it's locked in. How do we catch the drone, right? Let's say we're coming back into the boat. Again, if you're on a boat, I would say the best thing to do is to put the drone so the camera is facing away. And then I'm gonna go ahead and just kind of, let's say I'm standing on the back of the boat. I'm gonna go ahead and pull the drone here. And I'm gonna basically grab it like that on the bottom and I'm gonna pull the motors down. And my power basically pull that down. It's gonna then kill the motors. Number one is you never want to touch the props, obviously, right? So we're gonna launch this again. I'll show you. Basically, what I do is I hold on to it tight. That way I make sure it has power. And then once I get that power, well then it's ready to go. Okay? Now if I wanna again, let's say I'm gonna catch it. So I'm gonna slowly bring it back to me here. I'm gonna put my hand from the bottom, never from the side, never from the top, and I'm going to grab it. And I can actually flip it over. And when I flip it over, it's actually a safety feature that DJ has. So if a drone flips over, it automatically kills the motor. So now you guys understand pretty much the safest and easiest way to launch a drone somewhere where you can't put it on the ground. Like I said, if you're on a boat, you're at the beach, you don't want it to land in the sand, well, just be careful first off, you know, hands, your face, things like that. You want to keep the drone far away from you as far as you can. You want to put your hand to the bottom of it and grab it. And you kind of really want to, you know, hold on to it strong. Because if you hold on to it too much, it might just fly away and who knows what's going to happen. So, some tips for you guys out there. If you've ever wondered how to launch your Mavic 3 or to launch a drone, pretty much any DJI drone that's on the market today, well, that's the easiest way to do it by hand catching and hand launching your drone.